It's always game day in Cleveland. It is the season number two debut, the vlog edition, because we're on video. And just a, a quick reminder that mobile sports betting is legal here in the state of Ohio. BetQL is here to help make you the most informed bets possible. See all of today's best bets, live data, trends, projections, player, prop values, and more. All you have to do is head to BetQL.com or download the BetQL app. Claim your free three-day trial today. Head to betql.com slash news slash 923 the fan for exclusive book offers. He is Daryl Ryder. I'm Andy Baskin. It's always game day. I always want to thank our friends at Smiley and, and uh, Smiley One and Brian. Heating, air conditioning, cooling, they take care of you and they take care of us as well. So uh, make sure you stop by. You talk to my buddies at Smiley One if you have any issues with your heating, cooling, or air conditioning. All right. So, Daryl, um, the Browns unveiling. A new look this year? Please tell me more. Dun, dun, dun. The worst kept secret in the world will be unveiled on Tuesday, and that is uh, the Browns going to have white helmets this year. Uh, I uh, mentioned this earlier in the offseason that this was coming. It is. Uh, the team put out a teaser video Monday afternoon. Now, um, the teaser video is, is somewhat comical in that um, the sponsor that's attached to this reveal is Dude Wipes. Oh, I did see it then. Okay, that's what it was. I, I started watching it. I was trying to figure out what this thing is. Now it makes sense. So uh, the uniform website, UniWatch, their headline was, Holy Bleep, Browns appear set to unveil white helmets with Dude Wipes. <laughs> Uh, I guess great sponsor tie-in, but the the teaser video uh, w- was put out, and they're going to unveil the helmets uh, on Tuesday. The white helmets that will have stripes on them. I've been told um, they will wear them <laughs> one or two. Days, but do we know the uh, color of the stripes? What they look like? Uh, that I've not been able to pin down. Now they have been uh, selling in the team shop two different versions. One is a brown, white, brown center stripe. And the other is, I believe, a, an orange, brown, orange. Yes. Hmm. Uh, center uh, stripe. Or as I like to say, Oreo stripe configuration. Because that's uh, what, that, uh, what the brown stripe has always reminded me of is Oreo cookies. So, they, so I am guessing. This is just, I'm guessing. I don't know this for sure. I am guessing the Oreo stripe is unchanged with the white helmet. I'm guessing gotcha. that the brown, white, brown with a brown face mask. That is a guess. I've not been told anything. Um, there, there's also a chance maybe it is a white face mask. And um, I, I see on social media, like a lot of fans remember last year, I think it was the Ravens game, the second Ravens game where they wore the white face masks. They okay. Brought- white face masks fans went absolutely bananas for the white face masks and we'll see if the because we have to understand is there's a process when it comes to nfl uniforms right and the white helmet thing had been in the works for a little while they really wanted to do that last year but the the two shell rule wasn't taking effect until this year where the teams were allowed the secondary shell which you know buccaneers are bringing back the cream sickles this year right totally awesome by the way uh, the Philadelphia Eagles are returning to that uh, Kelly Green this year. Pat sure. the Patriot is coming back uh, for uh, the, the Patriots. Um, the Seattle Seahawks are going to wear a – in fact, it'll be worn against the Browns, that home game against the Browns. They're going to wear their throwback helmet uh, that they wore pr- uh, prior to the current iteration. So you're going to see a lot of – what I hope the NFL doesn't do is what the colleges do, where they like got a new uniform and a new helmet every week, because that's just bonkers to me. Um, but the, the NCAA prints money doing that. Nike and, and the various shoe companies. Well, the and, schools are definitely printing money on that one too. Yeah, so I, I hope that it doesn't get to that because I and I don't even like that Major League Baseball now with like some of their uniform combinations. They're in these City Connect now. Like your uniform is your uniform. Like, why can't you just I have a story about that. Last year, we were in Boston for the Guardians and 
um, and the Red Sox. And we were sitting behind this woman who was a know-it-all. I mean, she did not stop. It was, you know, oh, I've been a long time Red Sox fan and, you know, I live in Auburn, but we go to Worcester, I work in Worcester, I go back to Auburn, we go back and forth. I got to take my car here and there. My husband, all he does is hang out at the bar. But the woman knew everything about everything. And then halfway through the game, she realized that the Guardians weren't the Red Sox because the Red Sox were wearing their yellow city colors. And she was like, oh, my God. Look at that. Hideous. Oh. What are we doing here? So, anyway – yeah, you're right. I think sometimes they get a little too carried away. The Boston one for the Red Sox is ridiculous. I, I mean, I don't mind the jersey. I think it's kind of a cool jersey, but I just don't like to see it in a game because there's just no reason the Red Sox should be wearing yellow. Yeah, So and, and yellow is nowhere near red either. So no. um, how about that? The team called the Red Sox not even wearing red. How bizarre. But so history lesson, when the Browns were uh, incorporated, if you will, uh, mm-hmm. in their inception back in 1946. And we've kind of talked about this a couple times, but just as a reminder to folks, the reason why the white helmet is kind of a little bit of a big deal uh, is that it's been since like 1950 that they've worn anything but an orange helmet. But from 1946 to about 1950, they wore white helmets. Right. That's, that's what they wore. And what happened was that um, night games became a thing and the footballs were white. So they had to come up with a color for the helmets to comply with league rule. And Paul Brown, I guess, said, okay, let's wear orange helmets. And he got some paint and painted all the the leather helmets orange. And the Browns have worn uh, some iteration of an orange helmet ever since. The 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 the, the Pantone color, I think that's the the, the right uh uh you got me term. The Pantone color of orange has changed. The shade, it has changed over the years. The uh, striping has changed. It's gone from just a singular white stripe to uh, the Oreo stripe with the brown, white, brown. The variants of that stripe used to be a thin white stripe, thick stripe. Um, and now the current iteration where they balance them so each of the three stripes are equal. So, um, yeah, a little uh, helmet history for you there. But the, the, the white helmet is not revolutionary. It's not breaking with tradition at all for the traditionalists out. Because the actual tradition mm-hmm. is the white helmet. Like yeah, that. no, you're right. That is what they originally wore. So uh, it is going to be kind of cool. Now, me, I would have liked to see just a plain white helmet. No striping, no nothing. Yeah, but straight I- stormtrooper. That's what I say. White yeah. face mask, white helmet, nothing else. Abs- but uh, I was told that ownership really absolutely wanted uh, stripes on the helmet. So my guess, again, this is my guess. I've not been told anything. I am going and, – and, and, and my guess is informed by what they have been selling in the team shop. Uh, like behind, if you look behind me, I got those uh, mini helmets over there. I'm not yep, using – Yep. Mm-hmm. There. Yep. There. there. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> uh, there you go. The, the, the mini helmets there in a team shop, they had been selling two different versions of a white mini helmet. And like I said, it was an orange, brown, orange stripe, and then a white, uh, a brown, white, brown stripe on it. And I think it's going to be brown, white, brown. Gotcha. All right, um, Daryl, let's do one more quick topic here uh, in the second segment. I just I want to get to um, the boys being with Deshaun Watson right now. Your thoughts on that and. You know, hanging out with him and, and getting some stuff. We're seeing some workout videos. Yes, it is a workout video season. Uh, no question about it. And I just like roll my eyes at that stuff because, like, this isn't, it's not that big of a deal because this has been going on for years and years and years. Okay. Like, guys get together in the offseason. They've been working out. Now, I will give Deshaun credit. I think this is like the second or third time where they have gotten together this offseason to do something and to work out uh, before they, uh, come to Berea, but um, yeah, it, it's, it, it's fun to look at the, uh, the pages and, and see all the, the videos of, uh, you know, guys, uh, you know, catching passes and Deshaun throwing footballs and Nick Chubb bench pressing a truck or, or squatting a truck. <laughs> like I, we talked about him earlier about his money, but he is, it's just incredible how strong he is over 600 pounds. He's <laughs> like, 
to the point where the, the bar that he's squatting is bending because there's so much weight on that thing. It's just, it, it, it is incredible. But yeah, it's a workout video season. I say big whoop de doo but it gets a lot of clicks and likes and just gets Browns fans drooling for training camp, which is right around the corner. Boy, I'm ready. We got guys reporting, uh, rookies reporting on Wednesday, players on Friday. We'll talk more about that. We'll go inside the bunker with Daryl, which will be a segment we should have coming up next week. Inside the bunker with Daryl. That'll be fun. Um, And some other things that are going on in the NFL as well. It's always game day in Cleveland.